Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Never Tasted Better. Lately, I've been so busy and I'm sorry I haven't been putting out a ton of videos. My son is starting first grade in the fall and I'm also going to be taking some community college courses online. I'm going to be very busy, but I am still going to be putting out hopefully one video per week. I might not always make that quota per week, but that is my goal as of right now. Today, I am attempting Claire Saffet's Three Easy Ways to Make Strawberry Desserts. They look absolutely delicious. I love an easy dessert, and especially when it involves strawberries. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you my full thoughts on her recipes. I'm also going to tell you which one is my absolute favorite. Be sure you subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Our first dessert, we will need some strawberries, a lemon, some sugar, almond toast cookies. Technically, we're supposed to use meringue cookies, but I could not find them, so I'm using another type of Italian cookie. Lastly, heavy whipping cream. Our first step, we'll be doing the process of maceration for our strawberries. It's basically you're hauling them, taking off the green stems, cutting them up, and adding sugar. A little lemon juice to enhance that strawberry flavor, and then just toss it and let it sit. This will bring out the juices of the strawberry and it's just delicious. So Claire did not give the exact measurements for her ingredients in her video. I unfortunately couldn't find them online either, so I'm kind of just guesstimating. I eyeballed what she did and I'm trying to copy it as best as I can. We will see how it turns out. The technique of making the first dessert was very simple. I mean, you pretty much just whip the heavy cream until it resembles a whipped cream, fold in your crushed almond cookies, and start layering the whipped cream with the strawberries. The great thing about this dessert, anybody can make it. It's so simple to do, and the result is a beautiful, stunning summer dessert. My rating on the E10 mess, I will give it a 9 out of 10. Strawberries and whipped cream definitely go together, and those little bits of cookie in there give it that extra bit of texture that make it amazing. On to the next dessert. The second dessert we are making is a parfait. So grab some strawberries, a lemon, mascarpone cheese, butter, graham crackers, heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and salt. If you've made a cheesecake before, you've probably made a graham cracker crust before. It's very simple. You add crushed graham crackers to a bowl, add the salt, also some sugar, then melt your butter. You need melted butter. Toss the dry ingredients together first and then add in your melted butter. Toss it once more. Now Claire tells us you don't have to bake it, but I wanna bake it because you want it to taste toasty. After it's done baking, put it in a bowl to cool off. I love working with a good mascarpone cheese. It's actually used in the filling for cannolis. So when you add heavy cream and a little bit of powdered sugar to it, it becomes so creamy and so fluffy, not overly sweet. I have a feeling this is gonna be amazing in our parfait. Add your graham cracker crumbs at the bottom, your cheesecake filling and strawberries on top. I have a lot of good things to say about this one. That graham cracker crust at the bottom is so toasty, crunchy, and buttery, slightly sweet. The mascarpone cheese is really good. It's thick, it's creamy, it's not overly sweet. Very, very creamy and smooth, delicious. So this one, I think I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I would put this one in first place so far. The first one, the Eta Mess, um, definitely not as good as this one. This one is in first place. For the Granita Sunday, you will need some strawberries, a lemon, pistachios, corn syrup, sugar, and vanilla ice cream. Claire tells us in her recipe, we need some candied pistachios for this dessert. So you melt some sugar in a skillet, add your pistachios, add some more sugar, stir the pistachios around until that sugar is melted, add a bunch more sugar, and put it in a dish until it hardens. 
Our second step is the process of poaching our strawberries. So add in your water, corn syrup, apple juice, and lemon juice. Technically, you're supposed to use elderflower as well, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Add in your strawberries, and these guys need to get really soft. You shouldn't meet any resistance when you pierce them with a knife. Add them to a blender and blend it until it's thoroughly blended and there's no chunks. Our strawberry mixture needs to go in the freezer for about five to six hours or overnight. This is my first time making a strawberry sorbet. I'm a little nervous. We will see what it tastes like. To assemble our granita sundae, add your vanilla ice cream to the bottom of your mason jar, along with some of those macerated strawberries, your fresh strawberry sorbet, candied pistachios, and don't be afraid to be a little extra and sprinkle some of that lemon zest on top. We will see if this one comes in first place. I have a feeling this race is going to be close. Mmm, that is really tasty. There are so many different textures going on, which I love. I never knew that I was such a big texture person when it comes to food, but I am. The ice cream is really smooth, obviously, very creamy. And then you have that strawberry sorbet. Since I did not use the elderflower liquor, it is a little more icy. However, it's so fresh and refreshing. I don't mind the iciness in it at all. It has a great strawberry flavor. The pistachios add a little bit of saltiness and sweetness since they've been candied. And that lemon zest, you definitely notice it. It gives it a tiny bit of brightness it enhances that strawberry flavor. I'm going to rate this granita sundae a 10 out of 10. All three of these desserts were very delicious, very refreshing. Now let me put them in the order that is from my favorite to least favorite. The dessert that is going to get first place is the parfait. That cheesecake filling in the middle really just won me over with the crunchiness and butteriness of the graham cracker crust. Delicious my first choice. Second place is this granita sundae. It's really delicious as well. Great textures, like I said. This came in close for first place, but we're putting it in second. And third place is the Eaton mess. I wasn't crazy about that one. I mean, it was pretty much strawberries and whipped cream to me. Nothing to really write home about. I did like the almond cookies crunched up in the whipped cream. That was different, I enjoyed it. But the one that came in first place, hands down, was the parfait. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun making these three different desserts. Let me know down below in the comments what else you would like to see me make from Claire Saffitz. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you soon in my next video.